Thanks, Chance. That's one. You're like a baby. I don't want that one. It's not. Children. Children present. Jesus. I stopped. He's a goober. He's got a little microphone. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Somebody help him out. Back in pocket. Mrs. Gregory, could you help yeah. me out here? Yeah. Gregory. Gregory. <laughs> 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 that works. Okay. We'll start again. Where was I? Okay. <laughs> In the beginning. In the beginning, there was God. I've God. known Jason now for 13 long and happy issues. Happy issues. <laughs> but I can still remember the first time that we met. I was walking to the university bar with Tim. <laughs> We're still with sort of scruffy students, jeans, t-shirts, the like sort of thing. And out the corner of our eyes, we saw this guy at the bar in a tuxedo, <laughs> <laughs> drinking beers on his own. <laughs> and Tim said to me, that's really nasty that guy's on his own. <laughs> Let's go and talk to him. So he walked over, said hi, and this guy, who was a sort of a James Bond wannabe, <laughs> without the martinis, was sitting there and he was like, it's a Heineken. <laughs> so with his Heineken, Tim and I were like, this guy has to be the weirdest person we've ever seen. <laughs> I can't remember the rest of the story, but somewhere in between, one of the strongest friendships that both of us have ever had suddenly emerged from somewhere. Yeah. We actually, in all honesty, went over to laugh at him rather than make a friend. So <laughs> it was kind of cool. But from that point onwards, Jason has always been in contact. You know, when he moved six thousand miles away, we still haven't been able to get rid of him. Oh shit! I thought I'd leave that. Part. <laughs> but seriously though, in university holidays, during his time in Munich with our young Frank. Oh, old man. He was young at the time, I was there. <laughs> and whilst living in Dallas, New York, and now San Diego, there was always the invite to come and visit. Also as well, when Jason makes a trip to London, there was always a fleet of text messages arranging a time to meet up before he arrives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, too long before he arrives, that I can actually get out of the country. <laughs> it was on one of these catch-up trips, though, to Dallas, in September 2001, so Jason took Tim and I to a very trendy bar called Pool River. <laughs> I'm not really sure cool. if you've seen it on the website. <laughs> <laughs> and as three sort of single-ish guys, we won't go into the details, <laughs> we did notice there were numerous cute girls in the bar that evening. That's true. Thank you, Dallas. So when we returned to London, you can imagine my surprise when Jason told me that his James Bond-style charm had bagged him one of these cute girls. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one? How convenient. <laughs> Tim and I thought it was massively convenient that the weekend after we left, Jason had bagged himself a cute right. <laughs> right. But, but in all seriousness, it. looking at you tonight, Mary, and seeing how stunning you are, Jason was very correct to brag about meeting you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, carrying on, in Dallas, after finding his now wife, our James Bond hero <laughs> embarked on what has become a long and su successful career at Nokia, or Nokia, for those of you that can't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, Jason has shown us and kindly given us very many cool phones, often before they were released in Europe. In fact, now, whenever I walk into a phone shop for an upgrade, I have this little devil sitting on my shoulder with an ugly Jason face staring me saying, Buy Nokia! Buy Nokia! <laughs> what did you last buy? So I was hoping, actually, that uh, Lisa has a, an application form for Apple in her bag. If you could fill it out, the next time I could get an iPhone. That would be <laughs> now, I know how much you like the latest technology, 
And as a thank you for the phones you've given me, I have a special present for you. There you go. Give me two. And as it stays also about couples, hold on. Wait for your line, wait for your cue. <laughs> and as it stays about Table couples, three is too I have a special <laughs> present for Mary as well. So Tim, could you please bring up the presents for the bride and groom? Good job, Tim. Okay, so, so while they're opening their presents, I'll tell you a little about Jason at university. <laughs> uh, or a lot, actually. Can we skip this bit? <laughs> Turn it up. It has to be said that Jason was more famous for his drinking antics, even more so than his poor James Bond impersonation. <laughs> there was a time he downed a bottle of wine in 18 seconds. Oh, I don't have it here. Oh, yeah. do I have to do it again? Joe has it. Yes. Well, actually, um, just so that you... I, I, I think I might have you're something. All there, and Jason died a bottle of wine in 18 seconds, but now he's 10 years older, and he's married. That's right. Joe is going to present you the new wine that we think you can down in 18 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of wine is it? It's, uh, it's the cheapest wine that they gave me in the bar. <laughs> Oh, that's what I got for all you guys. <laughs> you have 18 seconds. That was about five here seconds. You weren't supposed to stand there. I think I'd put it back in the mini bar. There was also the time that Jason stayed up all night and drank a crate of Heineken. He drank 12 litres in total. And as the rest of us crawled into bed just after breakfast time, Jason got on a bus to go on a skydive. <laughs> By some cure luck, though, the skydive got cancelled due to bad weather. Otherwise, I would have been the wedding would have been game over. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favourite part of the speech. Oh, you like the little one? <laughs> I wonder if your antennas got stuck. Oh, uh, that's for the first time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If that happens tonight, there's a fucking disaster. Oh, no, no. <laughs> 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 Sorry, kids. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, they look bored anyway. So Sorry, I got an incoming call. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh,